Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Wirecast camera control options. So many of our customers are using Wirecast um, to live stream and make great video productions and I wanted to talk about some of the options you guys have for controlling cameras um, in Wirecast or right beside Wirecast. Um, and I'll look at some of those workflows that we have put together. So the options are you can control with the OnVIF device manager, which is a free tool for Mac or Windows, which provides IP camera control over a network. So a local area network. So your computer's on the same network as the camera. And that's probably one of the best ways. Um, we've actually got quite a few ways to do IP camera control over a network, um, including um, our open source control software and then we have a software called PTZ Joy that I'm going to show you in this video and then finally you can just have a regular joystick a hardware joystick controller I'll show you guys what it looks like and sometimes just having a joystick controller um, is just you know worthwhile uh, because you know it's just a little bit easier to just have that whole camera control situation um, kind of just put uh, put to the side not getting in in your way when with your screen space so this is our IP joystick and then we also have a RS-232 joystick as well so sometimes just having a joystick controller is a really nice way to do things because you don't have to worry so much about screen space which I know it can be a concern so let's take a look at Wirecast here with our um, this is our our joystick controller here and it's very uh, it can be very simplified it can be small you know if you want to hide it um, maybe like down in the corner here and just to be able to control PTZ of your camera and let me just overlay um, a camera onto this so you can see what's going on here so let's just put the camera here um, so you can see I can do pan tilt and zoom very easily I can also call presets so I've got preset 1 preset 2 preset 3 um, so you can just put this little module right beside um, you know your your thing there double click and you're good to go so the other thing that you can do which I wanted to show I'm not gonna be able to show off all of this software but you can switch between multiple cameras if you had six cameras iris shutter speed let's turn that autofocus on so it focuses right up and uh, this is one that I really like it's called virtual pad and you can basically take a picture with um, your camera and then overlay where the presets actually are and then when you click them you basically uh, are automatically going to that space so for a church or an event like let's put one more over here on this projector up here so what I would do is I would go up to that space and I can set my speed as well maybe I want to go a little faster um, go up to that space there and hit so I hit four, set, okay. So then when I go to this one, I go there. When I go to this one, I go here. And you can choose to have the button four there, or double click, and it will act. You can select an image, or it'll just pre-select uh, that image there. So that's kind of cool. So you can have your images there of what each space is. I didn't go ahead and do that, uh, but just double click or single click really to have the camera go exactly where you want it to go. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you can have pictures of people. So if you wanted to go to a specific person, you can drag them all out, put their names there, and lay out. So it's a very, very powerful tool. This is only for Windows, and it costs uh, $250. So it's not exactly cheap, uh, but we just wanted to show it off um, so that you could kind of see what... Uh, is is available so that that's two hundred and fifty dollars let's look at some of the free options that you have as well okay so free option number one that's one of my favorite is on vif device manager so I'm gonna put on vif device manager actually I don't even need this um, this overlay anymore bear with me here I'll turn this off there we go 
So on Vif Device Manager, if we put it on the side of Wirecast, it does take up a little bit of space. So it's ideal if you have two, um, two windows, really. So you've got Wirecast on one window, and you've got uh, the OnVIF Device Manager on the other. You get a live preview and pan tilt zoom windows here. Very nice and easy. You can also go to presets. So I can hit the, uh, let's see if I have a preset here. Oh, that's set preset. Um, and you can set the pan tilt zoom speed, the zoom velocity. Um, it's, it's a very nice little, you get a full preview and all the cameras on your network. Boop, see if I have any other ones. That one's not loading up right away. Here's another one. Uh, so here's one. Not getting it. It must, must be off. Uh, would show up right here. So you could have as many cameras as you want. And this is completely free. Okay. Nice way to do things, honestly. Um, all right. Now, another way. If we add a PTZ Optics camera and we go into configure. Oh, come on, Wirecast. Where'd that go? There. You can actually control the camera directly through Wirecast. Okay. The camera just moved. Not sure. Okay. So that just does a, fr it do it, you can move the camera, but it, it, it's, this is really not what was intended, but th this is called UVC control. And we have a software that allows you to control the camera. Um, oh, let's move it back just a little more. So I, you can see there is a camera control pan, tilt, zoom in Wirecast, which I hope one day they kind of build in. Um, but it's actually, it's not very, it's not very good. So get rid of that. Last thing is that, so we've got the network control. We've got the UVC control, so that's what we were just showing off. So you could, if you just via one USB cable, you can control the camera uh, through that software I was showing you in the beginning called the PT Joy. You can set camera controls right on your keyboard even if you wanted to. Um, then the final control I wanted to show is called, here it is here. Oh no. Sorry. It is our open source control software. Oh, there. Whoop. Open source control software. So you can download this and actually set up some really nice controls. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. It's right here. So you can open these in and basically they allow you to uh, set up presets and you can have this. I've seen a lot of our customers do something along the lines of this where this little controller is right next to Wirecast. So let's say you're doing your Wirecast here and all you got to do is click a button in your, in your web browser to control the camera. Pretty nice. And uh, in this software, you have the ability to customize it. So there's a bunch of images included that you can use to customize it. Um, and there's a corporate one, there's an education one, there's a house of worship one. And it's completely open source, so you can feel free to change it as much as you want. So we looked at on if device manager, we looked at IP control over the net. Oh, that's the last one then. IP control over the network. Okay, so last thing here. So another free one, another free option. You got Wirecast there. Maybe you've decided. Now it's this is kind of the same here, but if we go to 192, that you go to the IP address of the actual camera. You can log into it, and this is where you can do all your streaming and setup in Chrome right now. Um, the VLC plugin's not working, so you need to use 
Firefox or Opera. But there again is another free way to do pan and tilt zoom. So there's quite a few options. And uh, that I believe wraps up our camera control review options for Wirecast users. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have Wirecast on our live show today, so you can catch that at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and take care, everybody. Enjoy.